Built in 1864 by Fletcher Jennings of Whitehaven, Cumbria, as works number 42, our number one, Talaclin, is one of the oldest regularly working steam locomotives in the world. She was built specifically for the Talaclin Railway, to aid in the construction and running of the line arriving in early 1865. In her early days, Talaclin was a very different looking locomotive. No cab or weather protection was present, leaving the crew to battle the elements on their own. Originally an 040, Talaclin was a rough rider. She would buck and bounce when at speed. So when she was sent back to Whitehaven in January 1867, a set of trailing wheels were fitted below the footplate. Over the next 80 years, Talaclin was used heavily by the railway, but by 1945, she was completely worn out. When number two, Dog Och was sent away for overhaul, the passenger service was suspended. But Talachlin continued to take the occasional mineral and goods trains operating on reduced pressure. When Dog Och returned later that year, Talachlin was finally allowed a well-deserved rest, only steamed in emergencies. This happened sooner than expected, as Dog Och derailed shortly after her return. Early volunteer John Snell recalled, Talaclin was no longer a locomotive. She was... a self-propelled bomb. With the preservation of the railway in 1951, and the arrival of numbers 3 and 4, Sir Hayden and Edward Thomas, room in the locomotive shed at Pendray ran out. Talaclin was relegated to the old barn next to the passenger station, and here she sat for six years. While she rested, the railway was noticed by a certain Reverend Audrey. He transformed the Talaclin's number one into Scar Lowy in his railway series books, and the later television show Thomas the Tank Engine. Scar Lowy too was worn out, but sent away to be repaired and made really useful. And this happened to Talaclin on the 24th of March 1957. She was loaded onto a lorry and sent to Gibbons Brothers in England for a complete overhaul. The general manager, Eric Gibbons, was a keen supporter of the railway, and had arranged to have the engine overhauled at his firm. The team at Gibbons Brothers, unfortunately, were not steam locomotive engineers, and their rebuild was not perfect. When Talachlin returned in June 1958, it was clear they had breathed new life into a tired little engine. But not quite enough, as on her first test run she only reached Hendy Holt before running out of steam. It was discovered, amongst other things, that there was no floor in the smoke box. The newly returned Talachlin proved a challenge to fire, was always shy of steam, and became the bane of many a crew. She was stripped down in 1968, and overhauled at Pendray under the direction of John Bate. In 1972, Talachlin returned to service, and over the next 15 years the team resolved many of the problems that had arisen. By 1987, she had gained a new reputation as one of the most reliable and well-loved locomotives in the fleet, along with being the most powerful. In 2014, however, shortly before her 150th birthday, tragedy struck. A loose nut fell into Talachlan's cylinder, causing the right-hand connecting rods to buckle and snap. This not only put an end to their 150-year-long career, but put Talachlin out of action at the worst possible time. She was rapidly sent to the Festiniog Railway's Boston Lodge Works for immediate repair, where new rods were fabricated just in time for her birthday celebrations on the 24th of September 2014. The original rods, and the extent of the damage done to them, can be seen on display in the Narrow Gauge Railway Museum at Towin Wharf. So where is she now? Talaclin's boiler ticket ran out in September 2018, at the end of the Anything Goes Gala. As of May 2021, she is currently still under overhaul, with her boiler at the Midhance Railway Boiler Shop being worked on by Talaclin volunteers in the area, while her frame, cylinders, water tank, and everything else is being worked on in-house at Pendray. Like Boosted in the 19th century and Gibbons in the 20th, they are breathing new life into this Talachlin pioneer for generations to come.